install the XT60 connector for the battery but along with it I'll install two JST males one for powering the gimbal and the other one uh, for FPV transmitter and along with that I'll also install in the same blob of solder the NASA power module which also has to go with those two so red is here Strip the wires a bit more. Pretend those together. Now everything together to the red. Ei, tu mă nu-ți cărui pe mășire. Și ta soldatul. Ok. Now I've just installed the NASA in the center of the quad with front pointing to the front now I'll put the power module here on this side Power module there, 
I'm not sure where I should put it. Um, maybe around here somewhere like this, yeah. Okay, I've just installed the power module to this side because I want to keep these holes for these screws free to attach the gimbal from underneath so power module goes on this side and now I'll install my FlySky 8 channel receiver on this side I'll use a bit of double sided tape this in place here in this side okay and uh, no this is in place, then I'll choose where to place the antenna. But for now it stays there. And now the nozzle LED light. Well, where should this go? Okay, so now I have things more or less assembled. I've installed my LED here, power module, NASA flight controller, and my receiver. Power module connects to X3, but now to connect my ESCs, these plugs on my ESC wires do not fit in the NASA. I have to use these ones provided. So I'll change the wires from one connector to another to be able to connect them and uh, after I have everything connected I'll use these ones to connect on the receiver and to go to the, the NASA Now using the one provided with the NASA, I'll connect ground, 5 volts, and signal. Ground, 5 volts, and signal. And this is motor 1. It's gonna go into the NASA to motor 1. Okay, I'm gonna do pretty much the same for every one of these. I'll change all the connectors and then show you the connections. Okay, now I have all the connectors changed. I'll connect the motors and these are simply 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They just go around from 1 to 6. So, I'll give these wires a twist
let me just make sure Okay, so this is the front of the quad, so this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. That's the back, that's the front, the red. So this is counterclockwise, this is clockwise, yeah, that's it. Okay, I have all motors connected being one, one, two, three, four, five, six, two ports, motor one, motor two, three, four, five, and six. Being that ground is up, voltage is in the middle, and signal is down. Okay, so motors are connected. Now from the receiver the flight controller. Now I'll use these wires with the, the connectors I've changed. These are the ones that come on the NASA and these are the ones that were on my ESC that I've changed. No, I'm simply gonna connect from the receiver to the flight controller. And so, this is simple and easy, my receiver, so, uh, bottom pin is ground, middle pin is plus 5 volts, and upper pin is signal. So, one is my aileron, so, I'm gonna go from number one. to aileron on the flight controller which is A then number 2 will be elevator so I'm gonna plug channel number 2 into number Two on the flight controller, which is the elevator. Now number three will be my my throttle, which is channel three on my radio. And this goes to number number three. Number four will be my rudder. So, yellow up, which is signal on my receiver. And this goes to rudder and the flight controller. And yeah, and I think that now I have everything connected properly. So, right now I have everything properly connected, at least I think. I have here another two which are for auxiliary auxiliaries five and six which should be probably X1 and X2 I'm not sure yet. I gotta test that out and then the LED will connect here on top where it says LED on top of the flight controller and my GPS will connect to the Expo 
door. And uh, it should be pretty much it for connections. So let me just try and power my radio up. Power the, the exon and see what do I get. Okay. That's pretty much what's going on. I still have plenty to do.